What's up? It's Keith Kelfus. Let me crimp this water-fed pole right now. I'm cleaning these windows. I want to talk about something real quick. I just feel called to talk about this and post it on YouTube. I don't ever talk about this type of stuff on my channel, but it's no longer irrelevant. So I'm 34 now. I started listening to audiobooks way back when I was 17. I was actually paying my friend like $40 out of my check and going to old used bookstores every pay period and buying books and um, but I was downloading audiobooks I was paying my friend to download them from like these pirate sites I would get entire packs of like a hundred audiobooks and so now I, I've probably read about 430 books or something <laughs> right now I'm reading the checklist manifesto oh the customer screen just slid off the roof okay so I just finished David Allen getting things done amazing book but this I want to talk about the super conscious mind. Uh, back a long time ago, I was getting really deep into listening to something called Coast to Coast AM. And I've gotten into the conspiracy stuff, the alien stuff, read books on uh, psychic awareness, quantum physics, aliens, Einstein, uh, mind body connection, Deepak Chopra, Wayne Dyer, Law of Attraction. But one thing specifically that stood out to me and I want to share with you is look up Edgar Casey, E D G A R C A Y C E. Edgar Casey, I it was it's had to be 50 years ago. I'm thinking this was all the way back in the 30s. I may be wrong on the date, but here was a man who had tapped into the superconscious and his psychic mindset. Uh, he could lay down and take a nap on a couch. And when he woke up, he would he would psychically see the future and what was going to happen, but primarily with a medical diagnosis. Before certain breakthroughs in medical technology even came about, people word traveled throughout the world that this guy was healing people and giving them medical uh, prognosis and, and prescriptions via his advice, even though he wasn't a doctor. Uh, people from across the world would mail him letters and before the letter would even arrive at his office He had already written them a letter and sent it on the other side of the world because he already psychically felt it and the things that he was doing was um, treating and curing people Because he was able to tap into that now uh, of all the books I've read I've learned and I'm learning that oh, here's another guy Greg Braden the somewhere in Asia these I think of these Chinese people or something, this, this person has a tumor on their kidney and obviously you can do surgery, there's ways to prevent that through alkalinity and eating healthy and lifestyle, diet related causes. I know some of it's genetic, but I've learned about, I'm trying to get this out as fast as time. I don't have time to make this damn video, but I got to start uploading this. Um, so the, these Chinese guys, like six Chinese guys, were standing around this cancer patient and they had them on a, a gram poly... What's the name of the damn thing that they use for when you could see the baby in the, the monogram? I can't think of it. But anyways, you could see the tumor and they were going, soy, 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 soy. No incisions, no cuts, no surgery just laying of hands on this patient and through faith they were saying in this language already healed already healed already healed it is already done already healed and you could actually watch in under four minutes this tumor is shrinking and you can see it shrinking and shrinking and dissipates into nothing and at the end the guys are totally exhausted because of the power of intention and quantum healing is what it's called that you can literally so how can we use that in our lives how can we use that to dude I believe that we are so inept and so far behind and so um, spiritually I don't want to say the word uh, retarded but for lack of a better word in all respect uh, but it's a word if the you know what I mean that in in a thousand years where will we be as a species? I think that our evolution will be based primarily on spiritual necessity. That, you know, the whole the greed, the, then you get into the greed, the money system, you get into all the world wars and the government and who's really printing all the money. You get all that stuff and the oil and where we should already be with completely free energy right now and technology and spiritual evolution and the separation of church and state. So. Then you get into the control grid. 
I'm not trying to dip into negative conspiracy stuff here, but but I really, really believe that through leaning into this and leaning into spirit and light and the sun and elevating our consciousness, we can turn on switches in our DNA and actually begin to evolve at a faster rate and become completely psychic, become intuitive, become uh, like you see these indigo children. Like here's something that's that's amazing. If you look in the eyes of of, of a little kid. They're completely, actually, I feel like they're more intelligent and more and aware than we are. I wasn't that smart when I was a little kid. It's like they know something, and what they are is they're completely in the present. They're inspired. They're in spirit. That's what inspired means, is to be in spirit. And enthusiasm means um, enthusiasm uh, of the Father, of the Creator, right? So I think that, that, that words are more powerful and intention and heart and having a very high moral compass is more important than knowing uh, even what to do. Because when you go backwards and you know how to do something, I mean knowing how to do something, when you know why, when you know that when you're rooted in truth and your moral compass is pointing at true north, you can figure out how to do anything because the ground just, everything moves aside in the, in the, in the, the path is crystal clear to you. So, there you go. There's so much freedom right there. I'm done with this video. I'm going to move back to cleaning these windows. Now I'm cleaning by myself on a Saturday because everybody else is completely exhausted. We've been working like 14 hours a day, son. This is crazy. All right, later.